100 years, then you're happy. You've done my, your life. My, my question is uh, slightly different. When I decide I want to live for another 100 years, does no, that you mean... can't. So I can't. That's because, the point. Because, because uh, you get so... It's, it's going to be start everything so boring. Because every day, if you're doing the same things, you get bored. What I'm saying is, even if That's I... That's people that confuse Look, look, suppose, suppose, suppose I don't get bored. I'm, I'm always busy with things. I'm doing research and so on and so forth. If I decide to live for 100 years, it doesn't mean I will live for 100 years. I might die tomorrow. Do you understand the point? I might fall dead the next minute. My decision has nothing to do with my life and my prolongation of my life. Because I am not in control of it. I'm not the master of my life. Who gave me life? And you can make him longer. Uh, I'm gonna, you can make him can longer I, if you look after yourself, back? your health. Who if you gave, make your body, if, if your who, body is sick. You, who gave you and I life? Life. Oh, the parents. So if I died when I was a kid, a baby, and when you died when you were a baby, they should be able to give you life again, right? No. Why yeah, to give you life? If, just, not, just to explain a bit yeah. more. If somebody gives us life, that means they have the power to give us life. Well, the power if, is they give me life, yeah. If, 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 but we need to go back, if, back, back, back. If we have power to give someone life, that means if someone dies, I can give life again to the same person who dies. In the future, it can be happen. At the moment, if our children die and people believe that we've given life to our children, we should be able to give life to them again. But the fact that we cannot give no, them yeah. life again no, yeah. means we never had the power to give them life. We are only no, a yeah. process. We are only a process well, to bring today, them in this world. We can change genetic things. We can change the no, DNA. No, no. In the future, in the I future, might die, right? In the future, Is that what you believe? In the future they're going to take uh, uh, the sperm of the man and they're going to mo manipulate it to become, you're going to choose your child, uh, which color is going to be, which height is going to be, remove from all the genetic viruses in the future. So it's going to be more perfect for, for living today. Can they give me two wings as well? They will do. Okay, in so the that, future. That really shows that I mean, there is a lot if of... If we can clone no, today, that, that if really we can shows, clone today, that really shows... It takes time. Look, the mobile if, phone is invented only 20 years ago. No, when we talk 20 about... 20 years only. Do you have a background... so much progress. Do you have a background in genetics? No. Right, that's why you're I'm making... I'm talking about very small. In 20 years, no, we had I'm, these I'm saying, the reason why you're saying in the future we can have wings... My and son is so got so two years old. Uh, he's got this uh, in his hands. You, be, you have two years. When you have two years, you have that. Today, so, you're a different person. So in the future, I can be like 50 feet tall and I can have five hands, right? If they want to. It will be happen. It will be happen there. Yeah. Genetic. Well, I can look like happen. an elephant if, I, if they want to. Some people are the bigger. Yeah. Some so in the future, genetic modification can make me like an elephant if I want to become an elephant. But even if you mix uh, with a rather race, uh, it's definitely going to take okay. something from you and another, another person. If you if you go with a black person and you're white, it's going to be mixed. It's going to be no white can or I, different. Can I ask you a, a very stupid question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the future, if they can modify the genetics to make you like a cockroach? Can they do that? Yeah, but this is too much... Uh, too much genetic modification. But it's possible if it's much later in the future, right? But we're going we're gonna to use it. You never watch the, the fly, the movie, the fly? Yeah, when it is. Are you saying it's too much for now, but in the very late future, if there is a late future, like billions of years later, it's will. it is possible that people can use a human genetics and they can modify it and make it into a cockroach. But why need to be cockroach for? I, I just want to... Maybe cockroach can take the no, DNA no, no, no. for human. What if, if I say I want humans to become a cockroach? We can do that, right? Anything's if, possible. If you can squeeze uh, yeah. your brain uh, and put it inside the animal, yeah, you can do that. No, it's a genetic modification. Do so this is where I think we need to be a bit more skeptical about our understanding of genetics. Today, already changing things. Uh, human being already changing stuff on a human being. Do you, know, modify. do you know there is there's a limit? Do you know there's a limit to genetic change? That's my point. So, but in the future, there's going to be more. No, there's always more a limit. More. You can change the genetic makeup, but you cannot make one species. Like you cannot make, for example, a rat into an elephant. Hybrid, you can do hybrids. You can do hybrids. Okay, like let's, not, let's not talk about this now, issue. Now, watermelon. Watermelon, you can do without the same things inside. So uh, I can make into. Genetic so I can make in watermelon a watermelon into a pineapple. Is that what you're saying? No. no. Right. So but this you is can my remove point. Uh, the scenes so if, when you open so it, doesn't leave the So this scene. is my point. That's the thing. Genetic modification like has limits yeah, in terms of how much modification we can make, right? So you can you can breed between an elephant and so a, and a dog. Uh, it will never 
produce anything, right? You can artificially produce in a test tube, but you can't make a, a, a genetic um, So what offspring. about if your mind is going to be in a microchip and it's going to be going in, in, a, in a human cyborg stuff? How are you going to be doing that? Do you watch too much of that? That's the problem. No, no, this is, uh, was in 95. I'm, I'm from okay. 77. Sure. So, you, I, so I, I don't think you're too old. Uh, um, no, no, 77 is... So you are... You are no, no, I'm, I'm long before 77, so that's okay. what I know. I was there in 77. In the, in, in, in the 90s, it was more futuristic in the 90s right. than today. Yeah, right. Because so, people always believe that something today so was be more. The point, the point I'm making is this. Let's not talk about genetic modification because yeah, you, yeah. You, your knowledge about genetic modification comes from sci-fi films. My knowledge comes from... Yeah, but this help... Uh, my if, knowledge if, comes in the from future, actual yeah, yeah. knowledge of genetics. In the future, if you go to the space... I had a module uh, of we, genetics we, during we, my we university. Other, right? So yeah. Time. So that's why... I'm saying from what I understand from genetics, when I did a model in the university, this is what I'm saying. Your knowledge perhaps you're saying to sci-fi films, cyborgs and all these things. Let's leave this aside. But we get in there. Do you if do somebody you, does have a heart, do you, he can still carry on the carry you, of his life? Do you believe even laser eyes? Do you believe laser. all of this creation? Without laser, also things it can be not done today. Do you believe all that exists came from a creator? We just have the beginning. We just know today that we got mobile phones in the pocket. Hmm? Yeah, it's too soon. You know the galaxies. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. We need to discover first to, to have in there. It's sure. so small issue at the moment. Do you know we how big believe. our we galaxy? Progress. We need to progress. Sure. I, I don't want to be in, inside the coffin without knowing what's friend, happening there. I am for progress, right? Yeah. I'm for scientific research. You know what? Well, I stopped with this. Uh, you know, with this one is. I uh, give you an example. This one is, is uh, yeah, 2019. Yeah. 2019. I'm saying I am for year. progress. Okay, 2019. This is more fun. My yeah? friend. I know it's, it's going to be ne next year. My friend. It's a better camera and I, better memory. I recently published and better display. with others in a peer so reviewed journal. Do I need to change? So I am for research. Do right? I need to change? Do I need to change mobile phone because it's something better? And why, you know why I'm not going to something better? That I want to go to better. Because it's making me happy that. But I can stop with this for another 10 years, 100 years. Some people say, no, you got a phone that is, is charging one second. No, I love to keep it one hour. What's this phone for? Huh? What does it do? No, don't change the things. Does it cook? No, and it's not cooking, but like I said, somebody is happy. You, no, no, I want to know. I want to know. Of what phone, it wants. Uh, let me tell you something. Happy. When they see let something me, new, let me, they're going to go buy it. Let me understand something. Let me understand something. That, that's in the future, this, this, this is going to be. This, this is his in phone. the future, when you want to change your arm, sir, some people, they, 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 I think uh, I'm. Look, I, look, look. In the future, in the future, it's fine. The future is. You know, in the only things what I, what I, what I, uh, but I have a question. I regret for you. I that I was like to born like in these years. I have maybe, a question. Maybe another time. When I, have what's your name? What's your I have a question for you. What's your name? What's your name? Marvis. 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 I have a question Marvis. for you. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. You see, the phone that you have has a purpose. It doesn't cook for you. It has a phone, as in you can speak to your friends, your colleagues, your family, and so on. You might record speech and video. You may have a calendar, you may have a word processor, you can see the internet. It has a purpose. No, it is the extension of my memory. Because this uh, is recording and save it. My vision, it can record it and save it. Yeah? This is uh, just a station of my brain. Because in the future, this is going to be inside your brain. And you don't need any more the phone. Because does you're going to record it. Does your phone do blood glucose testing? Huh? Does your phone yeah, yeah, do yeah. blood glucose testing? Like, if I put my blood in there, would it tell me what's the BM? They, they will now. No, no, now, now, this phone. Now, they, my no, friend. No, 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 this phone. They Marvis, the Marvis. The so, so that means, that means the phone is specifically designed for certain purpose, not for blood testing, right? This phone is not designed the, okay. for the purpose of blood the glucose monitoring. Uh, my is, friend, uh, Marvis, is the is the hear, whole of the hear me out. Of, hear me, hear me out. Okay, carry on. This particular phone of yours, it is not designed for the purpose of doing blood glucose monitoring. That's for sure. Okay. Right? Good. So this phone has a purpose. What's the purpose of your glasses? To to squeeze. Uh, my eyes, if I do like that, yeah. if I squeeze that, I don't need the glasses. Does this tell Does you this, uh, how major. much salt is in your food? No. It doesn't. So it has a specific purpose, which is to make you see things better. 
right? No, it doesn't make me feel better. Ma no, no, make uh, you see, better. To have your good vision. Yeah, yeah, vision yeah, yeah. It improves your vision. Without the glasses, you see some in one way. With the glasses, you see in a better way. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's my Thank you. it's my genetic who's actually making my this friend. Problem. I'm talking about it's the glasses. Not, yeah, yeah, your yeah. glasses is not designed likewise to measure blood glucose. It's not. So this has a specific purpose. Your shoes are designed also for a specific purpose. The purpose is to keep your foot, feet comfortable when you walk. Maybe you will run, maybe you will jog. to get the dirt from the floor. Yeah. Yes, right. So is your shirt and your money bag wallet yeah. and your trousers, everything. Likewise, your body and the parts of your body, individual, like my hand. My hand doesn't taste things. It is not designed to taste. It's to grab things and so on, right? My ears, my ear, yes, my ears, my ears don't taste food. How much salt in it? My ears are for balance and for hearing. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it, get to the point. Specific function. No, that's why you have to hear my point. There are parts of my body or organs of my body. They have specific function, specific purpose. Put my whole body together. What is my or your specific purpose or function? <laughs> That's a difficult question. I'm sure you know if you before. There's lots of ways to explain, to explain that. Uh, Do you agree there has to be a specific purpose? Every single part of my body, my heart muscles, the tissue, the cells that make that into a tissue of my heart, they're different from my liver, they're different from my kidney. So when do we... Well, human beings are very complex. No, no. Let, listen, today, they're to discover lots of stuff. Try to understand something. When I was only one, two cells, became four, eight, sixteen, and so on and so forth, these cells, they multiplied, they eventually made a collection of tissues, but they made different tissues. Tissues for the heart, tissues for the skin, tissues for the liver and kidney, and so on and so forth. They somehow knew to go there and aggregate and do this particular function. Our whole body demonstrates we must have a specific function and a purpose. So you, because you got a perfect body, you need to say... I didn't say our body is perfect. So our so body is fit for purpose. So tell me what do I do? What do, so I have to do? We must have a specific function and a purpose as a body as a whole. We know this by even looking at individual parts. It's a logical extension to this reasoning. But how are we going to know? How are we going to know what this, what this function is? Can you design and or decide rather, Marvis, the function of your ears to be testing how much salt or sugar in the food? You can't do that. You can't do that. The purpose now to call the conversation. What you want to go there? Do you want to summarize and then stop afterwards? Um, you cannot likewise decide the function and the purpose of your whole body. That means that decision is not yours. It needs to be told to you. It should be informed to you that the function of your body is this. Where, where are we going to find this from? This is where we're saying our creator who created us and the environment to sustain ourselves you need to and give the whole cosmos. Or you need to think about him all the time. Hmm? So you need to give him something back, like no, a gift, no, no, or you no, need to no, think no, no, about no. him all the time. Let me give you a, 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 a I'll give you an analogy. Uh, I'll give you an analogy to, to, to understand what I can. this giving. I'll give you an analogy. No? I'll give you. I'll give you an analogy. Is it? I'll give you an, an analogy to understand this point. Suppose now we both have this discussion and keep on walking around the discussion and we're talking, walking, and then on, on there, and there, I got run over by a car. Accident. May God forbid. You take me to the hospital. I'm unconscious. I needed blood, you give me blood. Right? I wake up and I see you sitting next to me and the nurses and doctors says, do you know what happened? You're almost about to die. He got you, called the ambulance, came into the ambulance, came in the hospital. No, he's been looking after you throughout, and then he also gave you blood. Now, what would be my natural response to you? Should I say, get lost? Or is there a natural response? What is my natural? You know, something that I should automatically say from all my heart and mind to you. 
for what you've done. You know what the natural response is? What is it? No, no, say, say. What is it? I'm asking you. No, we need to. Uh, what should I say? So you're there. sitting there. You're sitting there. But you're going out of. No, no, it's important. I don't understand why you put it. This uh, analogy will tell you in relation to us and our Creator. So when you see me waking up, it's not that you want me giving you a hundred pounds or thousand pounds or something. The natural response is for my part, not that you want it. Remember, you did not do any of this because you wanted something from me. You did this out of your kind heart because you're a good person. You did this. I will uh, grow up with that. Yeah, yeah. Some people don't have a feeling. What feelings. I'm saying is, is the way you when, grow up with a human when, being. When you, Marvin, can even, Marvin can even have when you saved my life, literally, by all that steps, the reason you did this is because of the nature of who you are and your kindness. You are compassionate, kind, no, because caring individual. Teaching you how to, to save us. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm getting to the point. Now, so you did not expect anything from me. It's not something that you know I have to do in return. But my natural response should be one of gratitude. I should say, when I realize all of this, Marvis, thank you very much for helping me and saving me. I should say this out of my own self, being thankful and grateful to you, my gratitude. Think about this now, analogy. If I, was to, a, I did my part. No. I did my part. Yes, if you yes. say yes, thank now, you or no, now, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to link this analogy to myself as a creation and to the creator. The creator did not just give me blood, give me everything else. The air and the oxygen and the food and the water and so on to circulate my blood all around, right? To the lungs and to the blood circulatory system to sustain my life. Now all of this, when the, the creator gave me, to sustain my life and keep my life and my natural response should be one of gratitude. I should say thank you. I should be grateful. And that is what I mean, we you say. say thank you to him that I born to help you. No, or I should say better. that I or am my here. Brain so you remember to what help. I said? You remember what I said? You are free to say I can remember. I can free to say you can die then in front. No. If I can help you, you know, I can help you. Marvis, remember what you said? About my input Did to the say yes, no. you are asking in, in a way, did the creator all of this because he wants something from us the answer is no he doesn't need any one of us in fact we need our creator and why our natural response our natural response is one of gratitude and we should be thankful to God that's what's why I'm saying is our creator created us and out of his mercy and justice he also sent revelation guidance he raised human beings to be prophets and messengers to tell us what our purpose of life is. Remember I talked about what is the function and purpose of my whole body? The messengers tell us from God what that is. And that is, as Islam tells us in the Quran, that God, our Creator, created us to worship Him. Worship, the essence of it, is to be thankful, to be grateful. So He created us to be grateful to Him. We need to be grateful, not that he and needs to us. Others as well. Of course, of course, to absolutely. Others. We should be no, grateful to people. Uh, no, no, we should be grateful to people as well. But of course, the but greater... double to others. Double because they don't know. No, no, the greater because right... Because if I didn't know, you should be more the grateful to others. The greater double. right is to God, that he created all of us, right? Someone helps me, like you helped me, I'm thankful to you, but I'm also thankful to God that He created you so, and you were there at that point to help the me. The Creator who created the Creator is infinity stuff. Okay. So when we say. It's too long. You no, know? no, it's not too long. It's, too it's long. easy. I'll tell you how it's easy. When we understand. So, but you feel it better. If you say it's someone, you feel it better. Let's understand when this you question. say a child that this is Spider Man. When, Marvis, when yeah. you brought this question about who created God, who created God, and so on, is it that through infinity? This question can be settled quite easily. So if you did, if you never uh, had the chance to read a book and he was he was he was grow up without uh, any book, uh, he was like living in the jungle. Mm -hmm. How did you find out that he's a creator? It's easy. He was growing in a forest, let's say like a Tarzan, like you said. Yeah, exactly. With knowledge, zero I, knowledge. I was going to I was going no, to actually no, even no. mention no. that point, but you didn't. Yeah. Because you are a critical minded yeah. person. Precisely. 
if people grow up in a Amazonian no, jungle or a forest, because I grow up in Italy, I am going to, and I, I didn't get this different culture. But your you question, know, your question, I eat in pasta, I eat in pizza, I don't eat rice or anything else because in, in, no, no. the area is not this kind of knowledge. The question that you ask yeah. is very important and intelligent. In fact. We use this question and a scenario for people to reflect on. What we say is this, even if you were brought up, say 5,000 years ago in a Brazilian jungle or an Amazonian jungle, where there's no Christianity, there is no Islam to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and so on, right? There is no Hindus there, there is no Jewish people there. Even then, it is possible for us to come to the realization that, one, that there is a creator of this universe. Two, that this creator is one and only and absolute. Three, that we are created for a purpose. Four, we're going to die, we're not going to live anymore all the time. We will die, come to an end. And there has to be something after death. Because people, some people follow good ways and some people follow bad ways. The end destination cannot be the same. Justice demands that there has to be a day of reckoning. There has to be a death judgment. Someone can be selfish to think he buy only for himself. And that's and why. Grow up and, and that's why. It's genetic. Like that, do is a why children. that is why. Like do a children and say, okay, do whatever you like. In some people, planet, some right? people do that. And so that is why. For you. Do, you, oh, oh, is, is, do you know what Islam says? Islam says, don't be selfish. In fact, it says, you know the wealth that you have. Selfish is, is in, a, in a way not to think about others. I can still talk to others. If I'm selfish, that I, it's me now. I grow up my kids, the wife, and move on with my life. Yeah, but you have to look but, after other with people. With the simple things, not to get too to, complicated, to, because life is very complicated. To give, you, to give you an example, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our Prophet, our Prophet said, you know, you are not even a believer that you go yourself fully fed and your neighbor starves to death in hunger. You're not even a believer. A believer has to make sure his neighbors don't die of starvation. Doesn't matter who your neighbor is. An atheist neighbor or a Christian neighbor or a Jewish neighbor, a Hindu neighbor, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a Muslim neighbor. Your neighbor is your neighbor. Our wealth that I was going to explain to you about, that we earn maybe thousands of pounds or millions of pounds, whoever you are, how rich or how rich you are. No, it doesn't mean our, our wealth, our wealth is not it's not all about our world. In Islam, the poor people and the needy have a right on our wealth. Right. I have to give two and a half percent of my surplus wealth to the poor because it's there, the belongs to them. That shows how Islam doesn't demand people become selfish. Islam wants to make everyone, you know, come no, to the whole humanity. I didn't say selfish for to, to have greedy of money. Money, to well, about myself. In, in not society. to go to the social buildings, like churches, or mosques, or no, no, I'm saying, I'm saying throughout. Why? You have to look after. Just, just you have to look after everyone. Um, by the way, if anyone's recording and we have children being um, recorded, can you blur it out, please? Yeah. This is for all the cameramen. If the children are in the camera, please bring it out afterwards, before you publish. So if you're doing live, stop doing live, because we have children here uh, being in the camera. Is that right? Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, yeah, fine. So what we're saying is, as we have spoken about the Creator, even in an Amazonian jungle, we can come to the conclusion that there's a Creator. And this Creator is one and only and absolute. We can come. Your question earlier on, as you said, to discover, of course. No, no. Anything, when, when, when you say come to when the you conclusion, go to the city, you want to discover the city. It's okay. Because you can't think about how the same road. We same can anything. conclude by reasoning, <laughs> brothers. Leave it, leave it. What we're saying is, your question that you said about what about the creator who was created by a creator and so on. That is a that silly, is a silly is a, question. Exactly. There's no need to answer that. Right. So <laughs> ultimately, to, ultimately, <laughs> we need to sit at the table and have a nice Ultimately, ultimately, we will come to the realization that there is one creator who is absolute, independent, one, and unique. Not someone who is born, not someone who produces children, and not someone who is like us. You know what I described? Chapter 112 of the Quran, the book that God gave to his final messenger. This is what it says. I will I'll tell you in Arabic and tell you the translation. In fact, I've told you already. Say, God, he is one 
only and unique. Fuck off! Allahu Samad. <laughs> he is absolute, eternal, independent. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He is not born and he doesn't produce offspring and children. Walam yakullahu kufuan ahad. And there is none like unto him whatsoever in any way comparison. Any way you want to compare, there's nothing like unto God. That is what we talk about the Creator. This. Please, please. Can you leave her alone, please? Yeah? So that's what we're talking about. We are saying the concept of God, our Creator, the Quran provides, your heart and your mind will be happy with it, content and satisfied with it. And this is what Prophet Muhammad, who came 1400 years ago, 1400 years No, 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 no. Being the last of the messengers, of, on the prophets. Okay. There were many other prophets and messengers who were sent to all nations in the past. But people corrupted the message. So he was sent as the final messenger with the finality of the message of Islam, meaning pure submission to God, our creator. So that is the Quran. So I invite you to read about his life, his mission, his message, and read the Quran. And when you read the Quran, you will see how it engages with you, telling you about no, your I'm purpose like in life. I am. I'm happy like I am. That's the problem. And I don't need nothing at all. Because if I'm like that today, because I'm not reading stuff. What happens when we that's die? That's the problem. What, where do we go the after day, we die? The day is going to come for everyone. No, you no, can't choose even your death. No, no. Happens. After that, what happens? Some people say, oh, I'm going to do this before I die. And maybe I'm going to go Marvis, in a different dimension. Marvis, imagine, imagine. We, no, I just want you to imagine, if we are created for a particular purpose, remember what we said, we have, must have a specific purpose, and we did not fulfill that, it's like this. You and I going to an examination hall, and then we don't know what paper is being examined. Is it quantum mechanics, or is it astrophysics, or is it simple biology, we don't know. And then we will fail the exams. And what is the consequence of failing the exams? If we fail the exam of our life, we cannot blame our Creator, we have to blame ourselves that we not only we did not seek and search for what the purpose of life was and we did not even fulfill it. So in the hereafter, which is a reality, this life is not the only life, if I was an open then we will be at a loss. I was in here and to talk to you, that's the things, because I'm you are open minded. minded. You are my friend. That's what I'm speaking with my you. Friend, open, speaking you are open minded. If you I was are a, a nice very person, close mind, you are a critical and person. I was believing something very strictly, I wasn't you know, even exactly, spending time, exactly. I wasn't even coming here. Exactly, Marvis. I was so discovering new Everyone stuff. who will listen to you would then, know you are open minded, and not only that, you're critical. The questions that you brought is critical thinking. So you're critically appraising things. So what we're saying is we are just making that extension for you. Please, no, the good take, things, uh, take, that, take that logical the step good forward. Lost yet. When somebody's lost, uh, maybe try to get a friendship or maybe read a book. Uh, because you feel alone. Maybe you feel lost, uh, like feeling lost. Uh. But at the moment, I'm not feeling lost. So I'm very strong in my mind. It's very strong. So I don't feel any parts of any situation at the moment. What if? Because I'm still evolving with my mind. Because I'm not a child anymore. What if? So what I'm if? Growing. What if? We expire. I'm just using the language that children don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What if we expire tomorrow? Right? Then we would not have fulfilled our purpose because we haven't even found out, right? According to you, we would not have found out our purpose. That means we would have failed in the objective of our purpose. That means in the hereafter. It's not a race. Uh, it's not a race. It's, it's not, not about race. race. Uh, it's not a race to, to get older. It's the way how to live but, every but, single day. But do you not consider it is wiser and more responsible to find out yeah, but more the wise true purpose? more trouble you no, get about in your purpose. life. About Sometimes the purpose. it's better be stupid and you have a normal life than ever be wise and, and thinking about lots of things in once. Do you really feel that you want to because gamble your say, life? more people intelligent they are, more difficult they are to fall asleep. Can you believe? Because you got so many things coming in your brain and they can't even sleep. That's the scientist things they say. I'm not taking seriously that. But you know, some people, uh, they got difficulties. Like when you close the eyes, people, they can switch it off. Just imagine, when you, got, when you know that you need to fly somewhere else, or you go a nice meeting or whatever, you got difficulties, you know, your brain is active. So you know that it's something that, that you want to do. But when, you, when your life is very meaningless, you don't even think about it, you're just falling down and sleep and everything like that. And you wake up and you do the same things over and over. But why are you disturbing him? If he's happy like that and he's not disturbing no one, and he's doing his life, that's it. 
So we don't need to give him some extra because so if, you, if you tell him, if you tell him that the, the burger is better than another place, I say no, I'll help you with that. No, but it's, it's, it's better, maybe even cheaper. Oh yeah, okay, I'll go. In. So if he's happy with that, just leave him like that. So if someone is happy, but if it's a health, uh, yes, if it's if it's about health, if it's somebody smoking, let's say, let's say smoke is bad, and now we know smoke is bad. So tell him, but don't say like. Uh, I want to. It's, I it's want bad. to. I want to just explain to you one. Final concept. The concept of heaven and hell. No, Hellfire. Story. No, 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 no. When you say story, <laughs> the creator who created us but we'll created explain us. What it mean hell as well. I'm explaining. Is it ground floor? I'm explaining. Is it up? Is it another I'm planet? Explaining. Is it in Mars? I'm explaining. You don't want to be there. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm already going to PlayStation. I'm already going there. The creator who created us created with a free will, and inevitably, some people will not exercise their free will accordingly. And appropriately, they will Whatever, be I'm arrogant. Gonna, I'm gonna fight. I'm they gonna will, fight for my they, right. They will not. There. They will not fulfill their objective of their life. And because of the justice of our Creator, they will end up in this hellfire, which is eternal torment, punishment, and suffering. Now, no one scary, should go there. No one would like to go there, and we don't want anyone to go there. We cannot gamble our life and take that risk yeah, of but going even to a cold place yeah it's very scary please 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 even cold is very scary yes i know uh, what like i'm saying is nice, uh, how can you feel happy <laughs> minus 50 i want to see how you think about it. think about this how can you feel happy knowing that you don't know when we're going to expire that means we don't know whether to fulfill our purpose of our life is and gambling and risking our life in the year after that we might end up in this nasty place the hellfire of torment and suffering do you really feel happy to make that gamble if you have a chance to i mean look in islam we don't gamble at all full stop there is no gambling right so, but if you wait, 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 i want to make one example we don't gamble but i'm going to give you a scenario for gambling right imagine in a gambling the probability of you winning you winning is one in a billion, 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 trillion, 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 trillion chance, right? You've got all of this chance of getting it, no win, loss, only one chance to write. Mathematically, that's like almost impossible, right? And the game is this, either if you win, you have your children and your family, and if you lose, they will be all in the electric chair. You know what it means, right? Would you gamble? Would you be happy to gamble? Knowing that the probability of you winning is this, the risks are so great. I would never gamble like this, even though we don't gamble, but I'm saying conceptually, the risk is so high. I would be scared. I would not be happy. The hereafter, the, about the hellfire, that you will suffer and be burned eternally with no end never to come out eternally not one year not one million years not one billion years not one zillion years not one trillion years not one googleplex years how big is the number it's for eternity with no end that destination imagine there do we really want to gamble our life i want to leave you with this thought think about it my friend if you think that it's quite serious for you to reflect on it, then pick up a Quran and read it and see what it says about you. Shall we leave it to them? Let's leave it like that. Eh? All right. Thank you, my friend, nice Norris. Nice talking to you. Time. Take care.